Hello and welcome back to Tech It. So I've been having a little think about what I've wanted to do with these Railcraft items. Um, I've reconfigured this uh, so now the unloader is on the bottom and it works fine. Let's see if we can get a little demo of this. Uh, Coke Coal. Pop this in the chest. I've also moved these uh, chests because they're a little bit buggy um, with the placement. When the track was off it just still uh, kind of rebounded and launched it so that wasn't the idea. Uh, so if we put some coke coal in here and turn this on, it will take one, I'll take them all <laughs> and uh, deposit them. I need to change this to one. Uh, take that all down and do one. Uh, and then that's deposited it into the correct slot. Still we can take out the right side. Um, we can set that up later date. Uh, but what I wanted to do basically is I don't want overflowing problems with this, so what I'm thinking about doing is setting up a little timer to time the tracks into a way that they all work correctly and uh, safely deposit one of the items in a set interval period of time without having to uh, worry about overflow. Um, so what I'm going to do is make a uh, toggle latch. This is part of Red Power and basically it allows you to it basically works like an AND gate if you've ever done any Minecraft logic or redstone for that matter, not logic. Um, but yeah, what you can do is put an input into it, any redstone signal, and it only takes up one block and it's like a toggle latch. So basically like a lever, um, like one of these. So you can put a redstone through it uh, and then when the pulse comes through, it'll turn it on. Then the pulse goes in again and it'll turn it off. So it's really simple to use. Nice and compact. So uh, let's get building one. So we're going to need to make some of the usual stuff, uh, like we do the timers and uh, all that stuff. So take some stone and give it a little bit of a cook. Move stone, then put that back in. Gives us the wafers. Uh, I need to empty some of this stuff out of my inventory. Uh, well, um, what don't we need? Let's get the stone. I suppose is that, 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 that. Uh, this can go in as well. That should be alright. Ah, uh, yeah, so wafers, and then we're going to need to make cathodes, uh, some wires, and then a lever. So it's not really too difficult. Um, so we need to make the wafers, and then oh, keep the redstone. <laughs> I always put the way the way away the thing I need. Uh, so wafers and redstone, cathodes, uh, wires. Sorry, I need four of those. Uh, and then we need uh, to make a uh, a cathode, which is just like a redstone torch. Which is then over a wafer. We'll make, uh, I think we'll double up on everything because we can always make some, uh, use these for later as well. So let's make some wires. Some of those. Uh, let's just put some more stone in the burn ass. Burn arse. Put that back in. And then the recipe is like this. Uh, we're going to put the cathodes on the top and the bottom. Uh, levers in the middle. Uh, so, you know, you've probably got those in your inventory anyway. Wafers around the outside corners. And then the wires in between those two. So then we get the toggle latch. Put all these things back. Uh, what you can also do is put down levers before you place down something such as a timer. Uh, so it won't automatically turn. Because so I have a plan. Plan of attack for this. So what I'm going to do. I've got my two timers that I made earlier. Blue Peter. Here's one I made earlier. i going to pop those down. And what I'm going to make these, make sure these do. Uh, let's put the levers down and turn them on. Like this. I'm going to set these to the same time. Something like uh, 800 will be good. Let's get rid of, it, get rid of the milliseconds. Uh, 800. Uh, let's go up, crank it up. There we go. Uh, See, so yeah, what I'm going to do is turn these on like that so they are in 
at a similar speed, but it's going to go dink dink. It's going to send through two pulses. And what I want to do with that is then that will allow me to have the track enabled for, say, a second, which is long enough for the minecart to shoot off. And then when it comes back, uh, it will have to go around to the rotation. So basically, we launch this every now and again, basically. Uh, so I'm going to send this uh, into one wire. And then we're going to take this over to anywhere that we think we'll need it. So uh, this one over here, the one that puts the steel in, will be good. Uh, on a timer. There's one like that. I don't think we really need the ones there. Let's sort this out. This looks a bit weird. There you go. Okay, and then uh, the one over here. And then we're going to put the toggle latches down next to the track. So that's currently... Oh, you can also toggle these by hand as well. Uh, so that's currently off. Just get rid of this so you can see how the track works. Well, the track doesn't work. Uh, let's face it this way. There we go. So yeah, face it onto the side onto the side of the track. You can see it toggle on and off. Let's turn it off. Put down the minecart, and then do the same over here. Turn it off. All right. So default stage is off, and then we're going to set these timers off just after each other. There we go. It's going to go around 800, then one tick. It'll turn this on and then off again. Wait for it. There you go. On and off. So just long enough for it to send the pulse. Send one steel up and one coke coal. So it's not constant. It's just enough to uh, stop overflow. Uh, which, you know, just the right amount. So put the coke coal in there. I didn't put the coke coal in there because it's the wrong place. That's the steel. <laughs> uh, the Coal that needs to go in there. Not coal, iron. Herp. And then put coal in this one if we actually had any. And then that would deposit that in a timely fashion over there. Now you can all, of course, you can wire this up underground if you wish. Um, but, you know, I like the stuff, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Because I like the look of it. So let's go and grab some coal and some iron and just have a little look at this in action. So. Iron and coal. Not very much, but enough for demonstrational purposes. So, oh, ho, 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 ho. Um, we will put the coal in here. We'll take it all, uh, but we're only going to dispense some one. Can't fly. Here we go. Ah, see, that's bugged out. It's done the same thing the other one did. Uh, so in that case, I'll just move this back a little bit. Uh, and put this, put this down further. Uh, so let's find some wood. I don't know why it does that. It's a bit strange. Uh, but it's not too much of a problem, luckily. Put that down there. Pop a booster track up there. Uh, pick that up. That use a crowbar makes it so much easier. Power track, we can turn it on. Uh, and then we'll put the latch there. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? There it is. I couldn't see it. <laughs> right, off. Just check. On, off. Good. Alright, put it there. Oh. Just make sure this is right. So it's gone and off. I'm going to pop one in, return and wait, let's just have a look, so we've got 50 in there, and hopefully it will deposit one, there we go, lovely, same for this side, and what goes in here, we've got the iron in there, there it is, that's, yeah, taken one, let's have a look, there you go, let's put those in, uh, that seems to be rather, that's fine. Uh, coke coal, we need to put in the other one here. Uh, there we go, and release the Red Baron. And that will cook her up. Beautiful. 
working nicely. Uh, I might actually add timers to these side ones as well. Because uh, the coke coal is the most important thing for the furnace because that will run out faster than the actual uh, iron wheel. So I might rig up a separate one for that. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you all for watching. I've been Jordan, showing you uh, the, the railcraft stuff with a bit of red power mixed in. So and yeah, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.